Well, that's 03717 uh, double four. Let's kick off by speaking to Simon, who's an arsehole, who's a doona. Good evening, Simon. How are you? Evening, gents. How are we? Hello, Simon. Today? Very well indeed. Uh, two of your boys impressed today. Well, I say three, really, but you didn't see much of, Ra- of uh, Ramsdale. Well, you made a save. Ramsdale. <laughs> he, 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 he took a goal kick. And he had a punch. He had to punch one he clear did, as well. He did. He did. <laughs> what, what, what are your thoughts, Simon? Um, I, I try not to... I mean, this is not an emotional call whatsoever. I try and sort of look at it quite... Um, sort of quite flatly and openly, but I'd go as far as to say that Gareth Southgate is probably the third best manager England have ever had. Right. I think you go... Uh, Sir Alf. I think you go Sir Alf, Sir Bobby, Gareth, for me. Um, and I'll explain why. So if you go back to the golden generation, we all know what that is. Um, player for player, Lampard, Gerrard, Beckham, Terry, yeah. yep. Skulls. Yep. You'd probably look at that, that team now, let's be fair, and, or, or versus that team now and say individually probably better players but that for me backs my point with Gareth because what he's done forget the tactics we've had tactical managers that have done nothing for the country right but Mm. what Gareth has done is he's brought a bunch of players youngsters that he's bedding through giving caps here and there integrating people the way he speaks is is great Um, his vision is clear the players love him Um, the camaraderie he's building is fantastic Um, I mean World Cup uh, uh, Euro Euro finalists I mean, come on. You, you can't... I mean, yeah, OK, I think you said earlier, Pell, that, um, you know, maybe tactically in the big, big games, maybe there's a bit of a concern. And, you know, the only way we're going to find that out is if we get there again. Yep. But I, I, I think the guy's incredible. I've got to say, I, I think what he's done and what he's doing is is wonderful. You, it really is. As you said there, I, I think as well there's a... The players trust him. I think the communication between him and the players is it because he would have taken on board, you know, all, all the little facets from managers that you know he's been under. But as a player, you want to know where you stand and you want communication. So even you hear reports and read reports that even players are out the squad. He's talking to him and saying why they're out. You know, if they've dipped in a bit of form, you know, uh, giving them pointers of maybe just work hard. You're still in my thoughts. So well, look at, what, look at what Harry Kane said. Look at look at what Harry Kane said after the uh, after the game the other day. They, they sort of briefly mentioned, "Oh, Gareth's been offered a two year extension." And Kane, you know, they're all coy, aren't they? They don't really say what yeah. they think. But Kane said, "You know, the, all, all the boys love him. We all, we all love him." You know, and you can see that. You can see how they are, how they sort of converse after the game. It's just it, it's lovely to be an England fan. And for such a long time, I was so down on some of the older mm. players because to me, and I mean, you guys are ex pros, so you'll know if this is true or not. But to me, it looked like they didn't want to be around each other and sometimes they just they're, didn't want to be there. So, you know what it was? Their clubs, and they've all said it themselves, that goal, their clubs mm. was more important to them than England, wasn't it? Yeah. Winning uh, Champions yeah. League yes. and winning they're, Premier League was purpose. more important. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe this group of players, then England is at least as important as players. But there's also clubs. this group of players, don't they are not regularly winning Premier League. Not, not, there are some, of course there are. There's not, but there's, back then, if you remember... Most of the team that you May picked, in Chelsea. they would have had pr- either a Premier League winners' medal, Champions League, or both, yeah. wouldn't they? And these guys were st- these were winning multiple trophies every single. Week. This squad of players doesn't necessarily have that. It has Champions League winners, has Premier League winners, but the the, the vast majority of them are still looking for that first big major medal. Just one quickly, uh, Simon, before you go, do you understand any of the England fans out there that that can't? that still have doubts over Southgate, that can't quite put him at the top of the list or certainly got to give him the credit that I certainly feel he deserves? The, 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 only, the only thing I can understand, and I think we've all got to be open to, is that if it, it's, that, it's that decisions in big games, yeah. because I think, if, if, I think if we look at the Italy game, I think he got a couple of things wrong. Yeah. Um, well, you're absolutely right. Perry made that point earlier, and um, it, it's true. Then, you know, there are one of those things that perhaps... And I think he'll know that himself. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. I think, as you say, England went into situations, and he went into situations that haven't been since mm. nineteen sixty six or nineteen ninety. Obviously, same. But yeah. him himself, I think they'll have the debrief with Steve Holland, his coach staff, and say what we have to do is in these big games. So I'm getting a feeling about mm. it. I don't care if I make a tactical change or a personnel change mm. after thirty minutes, thirty five minutes. That's what the big. That's what Tuchel does, and that's what Mourinho mm. did in his mm-hmm. in his pomp. So hopefully he would have learned that. But there's no, there's no way anybody can come on and moan about it's how been, far he's brought England no, forward. No, not, not, not at all. You cannot. And, and this year has been one of the best years for England. As I said, there's the stats. 19 games, 15 wins in 90 minutes, just four draws. Other than the fact that the, uh, the asterisk will be we got beat on penalty against Italy. And in that, zero defeats. 